I've missed being on the road so much. So this week I'm trying to fix that. I'm gonna be on a road trip for a few days. I'm gonna be sleeping in the car the first time I do that here in Spain. I'm going to be driving along the coast. I'm gonna go to places I haven't been in a long time and to places I've never been before. I'm taking a long exposure of that bridge. Actually not one, but multiple long exposures because the clouds were moving really fast and I always like to have options to choose from when this happens. This is not the first image of the day though. I took another long exposure of another bridge farther uh, south. The weather was much better than it is right now. I did have a much moodier morning, that's for sure. It was even raining a little bit and the atmosphere was very pretty. So I tried to make a couple of images using those conditions. I liked the contrast between this white dock in the foreground and the dark boats in the background. By the way, those are oyster, clam, mussel boats where they harvest those and more shellfish. And then I moved to the real attraction of that location where I was at. It was the, this bridge, it's called the Randes Bridge. I tried a few alternative compositions like this one, but then I went for a more traditional long exposure. I made two long exposures here, one right after the other one, but the atmosphere changed a lot within the span of just five minutes. In the first picture, the fog, the mist was hiding the town, the city in the background, which I like. I always like to hide those details. In that same way, I did a little bit of cleaning up of a couple things that were catching my eye and I didn't really love. Another thing that I didn't like was all those houses there on the left of the bridge. So I did something that shooting with a non-square camera allows me to do, uh, is to reframe in post. This is something I did not see in the field, so I'm grateful that I have the flexibility to change my composition like this in post. Then I played with some gradients to make that water and that sky look a little bit more interesting, more dramatic to match the mood of the, the rest of the frame. After adding some grain and some final tweaking, I got the final image, which I'm very happy with. I really like this one. And now back to the miserable sunny weather. This was a battle I was about to fight. This was a battle I was about to lose. This is a photo I want to take, but uh, it doesn't look good with this very harsh light. There are a couple of towers just a little bit farther away. I saw this on Google Maps. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make any good images here, but uh, again, I'm just going to check out as many spots as I can and try to do the, the best I can. As far as I understand it, these are the ruins of a few towers here on the river. This is the Ulla River. It goes all the way to the capital of Galicia. It was, it was for the protection of that uh, city. What I like about them is the contrast between the old and the new. The old being the ruins and the new being the pretty big and pretty loud bridge that we have back there. So I'm going to try to contrast both things with the images that I'm going to try to make here. That's my, my idea. My mistake was to try really hard to make a photo I had in my mind, a photo I saw in my mind in the wrong light. When you fight the conditions, you are in for a lot of frustration. The clouds are not doing what I was expecting them to do, so 
I don't know if it's going to happen, so... So, unfortunately, we don't have the best weather, or at least the weather I like, you know, to make photos, to make images. So, I saw a few potential good photographs around here, but this is probably the only one I'm going to try to make. A shot of this church with the tower behind it, and because we have some scattered clouds, a long exposure should work pretty well here. It's going to stretch those clouds out and it's going to show some motion, some movement. It's going to add something else to the image because otherwise the light is pretty harsh. I'm using the uh, 17 to 28. I'm shooting at 17, as wide as I can go with the lenses I have. I am placing the church and the tower at the bottom of the frame, top half of the frame for the, the sky. So I hope I capture something interesting because otherwise it's not going to be great. That's why I'm uh, shooting this uh, long exposure a few times because every time we take this uh, um, the first one was at one minute, this one is at two minutes, and I think I'm, I want to take at least another two or three to have something to choose from, because you never know what the clouds are going to do. I was going to say that the light was much better, but now the, the sun is out again. Uh, it's going to be on and off the whole day. The other tower, this one that I have behind me, is not as interesting. I really like the shape, but the background is horrible. It's just full of houses, it's very busy. You can see vehicles and uh, all sorts of stuff. And this uh, exposure is done. Unfortunately, the clouds are not helping either. Um, I'm gonna try to explain why. It's pretty simple. I just needed those clouds to be behind the cross on top of the church and behind the battlements of the tower to create some contrast. Otherwise, the dark shapes could not stand out against the dark sky. Most of the times when I see something, even if it's not a great photograph, I have a hard time letting go when the conditions are not right. There is an opportunity cost here though. Saying yes to an image might mean saying no to better ones. You just never know what's going to happen next, so it's not easy. It's a guessing game. It's not going to work. I'm not even sure it would have been a good image anyway so yeah i can't be here the whole afternoon waiting for the right cloud i'm sure that now that i'm leaving a cloud will come and block the sun but uh yeah i don't see any right now so all right i found another composition uh, right here I have a tree. I have that tree in the uh, foreground and I have the windmill in the background. It's not my favorite composition ever, but I'm waiting for that cloud. Hopefully you can see it behind the windmill. The two elements in the photograph have, as of right now, the uh, wrong background because the uh, dark subject, that is the tree, has the uh, dark background and the bright subject the windmill has a bright background so i'm waiting to see if that uh, changes i cannot control the clouds and they are doing pretty much the opposite of what i want them to do today so we'll see if that happens but yeah hopefully that cloud moves a little bit more to this side and uh, and this image works 
little by little, very slowly, the cloud did move and I got something I was happy with. I hope you can see the huge difference that made here on this side-by-side -side comparison. Okay, I found something else. I found this cross here, just across the road, and I'm trying to do the same thing that I did with the tree. I'm trying to wait for a cloud to be behind the cross while the uh, background behind the windmill is clear. Um, there is a big cloud coming that way, so hopefully I'll uh, I'll be able to put it or to place it behind the cross before it gets to the windmill. All right, I'm pretty happy with that uh, last image. I took three long exposures. The second one was the best one by far, and then the clouds just moved on, and there was no way I was going to get anything better in the next uh, few minutes. And I'm actually in a hurry now because it's 8 p.m. It's uh, one hour and a half before sunset. Sunset is so late here, 9.43 p.m. is going to be today but I'm still 40 minutes away from the place where I'm planning on spending the night it's a beautiful place it has a lighthouse it's by the coast and uh, yeah I just want to get there as soon as possible so I have time to actually uh, enjoy the sunset there and hopefully make some good images so let's go I'm not going to be the only one here tonight. But look at that view. I'm in the car and the view from here is just priceless. I'm inside the car because this is the coast and it gets cold at night, it's very windy and I get the same view from here so why not. There are still 10 minutes left until sunset so I'm gonna enjoy 
that time uh, from here then i might work a little bit on the images from today and then i'll go to bed because it was a very long day a lot of uh, driving tomorrow there will be less driving and hopefully more photography because as you could see it's getting cloudy and this is the kind of day that i'm hoping to get uh, tomorrow hopefully not as much wind but in any case it's gonna be awesome it's gonna be beautiful and i will be out there trying to make images thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one